My presentation was the children's story Cinderella by Henry W. Hewitt, written in 1855. On the left you see the stepmother being proposed to by the father, Cinderella in the middle, two stepsisters on the right. These two ladies here are representing the clothing that the stepmother was wearing, which is late 17th century, early 18th century. And you can see the style in sleeves are big and poofy and gathered, the nice long pointed stomacher, the overskirt which parts down the center as well. These are elements of design that I used in this first dress that the stepmother is wearing. I chose this because I wanted the book to be set in late 18th century, and I wanted to show that the stepmother, while not well-to-do royalty, was was still upper class, but her style was just a little behind the times to show that she wasn't quite as well-to-do as the man whom she was marrying. Cinderella's dress with the slender sleeves is more typical of the late 18th century fashion, as seen here with Marie Antoinette and this robe à l'anglaise. Um, I gave it nice deep bold colors to kind of match the era and um, romance being kind of red as the color of romance. Um, I left his coat just your plain gray accented with red to match this woman he is proposing to. The three-piece court suit is, is what he is wearing, however he does have it buttoned up the front so that you can't see his coat. You can only see the surcoat. Cinderella has a dress very much like the stepmother's, only a little bit more uh, modern style with the slimmer sleeves. And the two stepsisters have late 17th century, early 18th century style gowns as well. I chose purple and yellow for their dresses as complementary colors. And Cinderella stands out in her blue, and she doesn't match anybody. Though the colors still do look nice against the purple and yellow, so it's not too garish for the illustration. I did accents for their hair as well, trying to keep up with what would have been acceptable at that time. Now in this next page, I updated the stepmother's dress to be uh, late 18th century, to be a more modern to the time that this book was to be taking place in. Cinderella's outfit here is typical of servants of the late 18th century as well. Here you can see a pretty standard late 18th century bedroom, very much highly decorated and, and elaborate in, in all of the woodwork, the furniture and everything, showing Cinderella once again a little bit older, mopping the floors in this room. As carpets weren't really a thing yet, it was more rugs. And here is Cinderella sleeping in the garret um, on a straw bed. Basically up in the attics is what a garret would be. This is all that I was able to complete in the pages as these, you can see, take me quite a bit of time as I do put a lot of detail into them. Um, and I do plan to finish this book as time goes on. It's a project that I've been working on on and off for the past five years. And this was an excellent reason to refresh the illustrations and push forward this project in a more cohesive fashion now that I know a little bit more about costuming.